Welcome back everybody man, we got a good one for you today, we got DLC Conqueror, okay? Conqueror been confirmed, you already know what's up. What is my man's doing in the back here? <laughs> he is training for the new Season 5, I know it, I know it, alright? <laughs> but let's get into it. Alright man, now guys, Kakuro is one of my favorite characters, man, so I really want him in the game. I really think he is coming. Um, it's just a matter of time to me. Um, I Just the workout, the mechanics, I'm going to explain to you what I mean and what I want to see from Kakuro. Um, what Jutsu's, <laughs> you know, all that sort of, sort of thing, man. We're going to get into it, man. Um, but yeah, Conqueror's from the Hidden Sand Village, man. He, he should be a defense, no doubt. Um, because, and I'm going to tell you why, man. Um, defense for Conqueror would be amazing, alright? It would add a new fighting style to the game, which would be insane. Or anything just moves-wise would be pretty cool to have, alright? Let's get into it. First off, Salamander. Alright, this puppet can be worked out both ways. It could either be a defense, a trap, right? Or it could heal you, right? <laughs> right? Or it, it, it could be two different things, right? Now the Salamander is one of his best weapons, right? Um, you, you know, he rarely broke it out, really. I mean, I mean, I'm not saying rarely broke it out. He broke it out, you know, you know, frequently. But it was, it, it could also blast, as you've seen right here. This is Storm Four footage, styles to Somo Gaming. Um, but the Salamander Seal, that's what um, you know, I would call it. But as you see right here, I'm combining both Jutsus to do that, um, Chameleon and the Slug. Or, you know, salamander but as you see you can recover being trapped inside so it can help you recover you know as far as the crow goes you know the action crow look at the crow you know um, I want the crow as well uh, yeah yeah that crow <laughs> yeah that crow I want this crow now this is his go-to puppet right this is probably his favorite one this is go-to puppet this thing was so versatile um this had all the arsenal weapons that you would need all right I'm talking send bomb um, now this could be used for like a little rangy too and defensive wise, but it poisoned it had it would shoot things out its mouth its hands it, 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 it his arms it can turn into knives itself You know what I mean and stab you which was crazy man. This thing was OP man The crow was one of my favorite things to watch Cockro do and use right now the crow one shot can work out it's just like Sin Bomb. It's so quick and it's piercing and powerful. It can go through a lot of Jutsus, slow your uh, defensive down, um, get away substitution, all that good stuff. Wherever they want to work it out, how they ever want to work it out, I just want the Crow one shot, to be honest. As you're seeing right here. <laughs> now, yeah, like, see, it can just say, um, it can uh, just make a whole bunch of weapons and knives like look at this disarm yourself look at this and then impale now I don't know the initial impale how would that work but black ant what do you guys think right black ant anybody all right now the black ant will work in conjunction with the um the crow so combine the two together you have an ultimate jutsu now this could be a regular I don't want to say an ultimate but this could be a regular jutsu right you're just combining both or it could be an ultimate you know, this could be like a, a ultimate itself. As you're seeing right here, more Storm 4 footage. Um, but combining them both, they work together, right? They work together simultaneously as you're seeing. That, oh man, that is so broken. It works together, right? So one defense, one attack. That's basically what you're having. Because the Black Ant's there to trap you, right? It's there to trap you. And then the Crow has the knives, right? So the as you're going to see, right? You, you get trapped by one. Right, so the black ant will trap you, hold you down, and then you have the crow to put the knives to deal the heavy damage. Right, we're calling that the black iron maiden triple shot. All right, now that obviously that sounds impressive. I know, I know. Whoa, that's a good name for that. I know, right? That's a good jutsu to have, man. Instant kill, one shot, it's done. You're done. There's no heals or nothing. You're done. I mean, anybody else would die. I mean, come on, man. Even outside two kills, right? So I'm figuring like, yeah, you gotta mimic that a little bit, especially with Universal Pool. Is Universal Pool acts kind of like that? Um, of course, another ultimate would be Sasori, him himself as a puppet. That's probably one of um, Kakuro's best weapons. Is you know the the master of puppets himself, Sasori. I mean, why not? Um, now to do that, to make your to make your opponent a puppet, 
I added the oboe, you know, just to cut you down, get rid of your subs and your ninjutsu, and then I added universal pull, which acts like chakra strings. So it pulls you to me, because I'm using you as a puppet. But this will be the ultimate that they could use, similar, as you're seeing in Storm 4. Um, either way, the flames, adding flames or explosions to this would be crazy. It'd be similar like Sherado. Sherado, like adding missiles, it could be the same properties, right? So you could kind of see a range, but more defense, because we can combat the Sherado with this. This will be insane to do, especially on the battlefield. Like, I'm telling you guys, like, you can add a whole different arsenal to this game, a whole different fighting style. It's not just techniques and jutsu, it's a style, style of fighting. Bringing in more people, bringing in more fans, just bringing in more people in general. I mean, who doesn't want to fight with puppets? But look how much flames we got on this. I'm calling this the Red Scorpion, all right? <laughs> the Red Scorpion. You know, red hair, scorpion-like, you know, tendencies, all right? So this is how it works, you know. Um, essentially, I kind of try to mimic it a little bit with Edo Tensei. So I use puppets, dead puppets, you know what I mean? I mean, come on, right? right? Dead puppets, kind of like that, right? So it can kind of be like that as the ultimate goes. Two-button systems, of course, instant kill. Um, as far as outfit goes, this is the outfit one. I really want this one. Get your Batman on. Go go crazy. I want the hood. That'll be the hairstyle. The face paint, because we don't have that face paint yet. Um, so that's be, yeah. This is when you first seen Conqueror, right? I really want that. I, I'm telling you guys, I really, I really want that. Um, that outfit. Outfit two is when he was a little bit older. You know, a little bit more seasoned um <laughs> by this time so but again we already have his face paint so i want the hood of course and i want an emote maybe he goes he busts out the crow the puppets all up in the lobby that would be pretty cool to do busting out puppets in the lobby i know y'all would love to do that i know a lot of people dig the emotes um outfit three this is like when he was with the alliance i mean this is when he was super older you know what i mean like uh, his brother was top notch. His brother was already Kaze Kage. So get the face paint three. This is a different face paint it will bring, and different hairstyles and all that. Yeah, you can go crazy with it, shinky type stuff, sage mode if you want. Go crazy with this type face paint. That, but this is a different type of hood too. So you get a different outfit, different hood, and different face paint. All three of those outfits I would want to see Conqueror. Whichever Conqueror comes, that would be great for me. I really want that hairstyle though. Now. Substitution. I didn't leave that out. Now, substitution. Remember when he swapped with homeboy who had the stretchy limbs in the tuning exams? Yes. Now, this would be a perfect substitution, right? Now, you're already wrapped, right? That's all. That's how it activates. As soon as you get hit, you wrap the person up, right? So now, the snakes. There's snakes that can poison you. You know, um, water clone jutsu does things. Like a lot of these things do things. Time hop. You know, you can skip. You know, they nullify attacks, but this will wrap the opponent up. Thus making it, oh man, it Karasu in disguise, or Crow in disguise, wh wh however you guys wanted to do it. But Crow in disguise will be a perfect substitution, all right? We're talking 30 seconds, all right, I'll give you to you 30 seconds, all right? The cooldown is 30 seconds, but the animation would look super clean. And I'm telling you, it'll do some decent damage too as well. Now, these are the juices I really want, guys. I hope you really rock with this video. I really appreciate you. If you stayed this long, I really appreciate the day ones who stayed this long, man. Make sure to leave a like if you like anything I had to say, or if you really appreciate the Conqueror, or if you want Conqueror as a DLC as well, like me. You want to be fly like me? You want to be cool like me? Then hit that like button, all right? And I'll see y'all in the comment section for real, man. Conqueror for DLC confirmed by me, all right? Thank you.